No Waste Living, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 295. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 295, November 18th, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I'd like to talk about is no waste living. No Waste Living is a big part of what it is that we're creating and everything you see happening in the background here, which is eight years of development design work, about 15 years of planning before that, is founded on this idea of No Waste Living. Like We have the ability to live in integrity with ourselves, with our global community, to be conscious and conscientious stewards of our environment. And No Waste Living is a big part of that. And so we're designing seven different sustainable village models and a duplicable city center designed to exemplify this idea of no waste living that are designed to make it easy to repurpose everything, to recycle everything that we can't specifically repurpose and designed with the idea of radical sustainability so that we're building with sustainable materials, with replenishable materials or recycled materials so that we are taking things out of the waste stream and putting it into the productive stream and doing it in such a way that is beneficial for everyone. And one community is designing everything that we're designing to be implemented as either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration model. And these models are, these, these villages are designed to be an evolution of sustainability. We take the physical foundations of sustainability, which everybody is familiar with, those are food, energy, and housing, and we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. Putting all these things together is an evolution of sustainability that we are designed to become self-replicating by open sourcing and free sharing it with the goal to make it easy enough affordable enough and demonstrate this way of living is desirable enough so that it will spread on its own. And so no waste living is a big part of that. We think that no waste living can be done in such a way that is not difficult for people. We think that if we create entire environments designed around this idea of how can we be as efficient as possible, how can we have as little waste as possible, how can we repurpose everything, how can we purchase things in bulk so that we have less materials and then use less packaging material and then use those leftover packaging materials and repurpose them for other things in the case of cardboard and paper and things like that by composting, in the case of plastic and other things like that by either turning them into 3D printer filament or by using them as insulation materials or other things like that. And the main thing is, is that we know that if we bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, and use the technology that's already available and improve on the technology and the different ways of doing things that already exist so that we can make them even more efficient, even more effective. We know that we can level up this idea of sustainability. We can demonstrate radical sustainability in a way that is easy and affordable and benefits the people that are doing it. And our entire teacher demonstration model is designed around this, is to create a place that provides a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now because it will provide more of the things that they want, more time to, and activities to be able to, to enjoy life in general, and throwing the doors wide open and inviting people to come and participate and experience everything that one community is being designed to provide and create and, and demonstrate so that people like what it is that we're doing and they want to participate and they want to replicate it. We're here open sourcing and free sharing all the different steps, the complete design process, so that not just no waste living, but all aspects of sustainable living and living in integrity with ourselves and with our, our external environment as well can be replicated. And so we're an all volunteer nonprofit organization doing that. And no waste living is just one very, very small part of that, but it is one of the foundational components of this idea that we have the technology, the know-how, and we are building the willpower to live in integrity, to
to be able to create a completely sustainable civilization, to create a world that meets the needs of everyone within our lifetime, to simultaneously address the greatest challenges of this generation and future generations with a model like this by, by addressing homelessness and food insecurity and starvation, by addressing lack of energy infrastructure, by addressing social injustice and inequality, by addressing education and open sourcing and free sharing and so much more beyond just what I just named. All aspects of society, building a foundation for addressing all those simultaneously with no waste living is just one small part of that. And open sourcing all the different strategies and approaches for things like no waste living and using that same approach to open sourcing all aspects of that for everything that we're doing, for the education program, for the fulfilled living models and the social architecture, obviously for the food, the housing, the energy infrastructure, all of those things. We can open source these things and make them available to people all over the world. And we can demonstrate as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that people will be motivated, the people with resources will be motivated to invest those resources for themselves first and foremost, but in a model that also provides for positively provides for everybody surrounding a teacher demonstration hub, bringing resources to the places that need them most, not as a handout, but as an educational experience, building infrastructure that is replicable and can help everybody. So if people see a teacher demonstration hub and it's running successfully and they like what they see, they can replicate it. And it's in the best interest of that teacher demonstration hub and the people replicating it to work together, to cooperate and collaborate, to build even more. And this is what one community, the physical example of one community that we're designing right now and will build and will invite hundreds, then thousands, then tens of thousands, and eventually hundreds of thousands of people to visit annually, to experience what it is that we're creating, to take what they like and to replicate it. And everything is designed so it could be replicated as either individual components, like I said, no waste living being one of those components, or as the complete teacher demonstration hub that integrates the no waste living, that integrates the education model, that integrates the food, the energy, the housing, the social architecture, all aspects of this into one place that people can come and experience. And we think the experience of living within that place will be like going on vacation to a club med type of experience or on a cruise where everything that you want or could desire or need is within walking distance, where everything is provided within that environment and the environment is designed to thrive the more it is shared, the more it invites people in to experience it, the more that it spreads, the more we can cooperate and collaborate with other organizations doing the same thing, the more we can expand this model so that we can reach that tipping point of participation and create positive and permanent change for everybody everywhere. This is what one community is up to. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of no waste living and so much more. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. Hemant Kodera, structural engineer, completed his 26th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earth Bank Village. This week's focus was replacing the soil mix with soil mix springs around the nails to factor in the resistance of the soil mix to the movement of the nail within the bag. The Winkler model is what is being used to calculate the stiffness of these soil springs within the bags. You can see some of this work in progress here. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also completed her 24th week volunteering. Resuming her work on the Earth Bag Village materials and costs, this week she continued work on the three dome cost analysis, cross checked the materials list and quantities, added missing materials, started on the vermiculture toilet cost analysis, and updated the complete village AutoCAD with new internal and external dimensions drawings. You can see some of this work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued his work helping with render corrections and Photoshop additions for the Earth Bag Village. This week, Guy completed these two first-generation views of the top of the tropical atrium and looking south from the tropical atrium entryway. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 29th week helping with render additions. This week, he finished this Earthbag Village render showing a perspective from inside the village. This image is also now on the website. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 30th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. 
This week, he completed a properly scaled parts illustrator file and continued to simplify the existing parts labeling and cutting system. You can see some of this work here. Ian Schulz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 138 from Dean. His focus this week was finishing the six dome layouts, adding more section view details, and additional labeling of components. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the SketchUp Duplicle City Center updates for the Dining Dome. We added three extra small windows and designed a couple of different utility doors, corrected the size of the sliding doors and door openings in the dome structure, and designed new double sliding doors. You can see some of this work here. The core team also continued developing the Duplicle City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Design page. This week, we finished the sections covering sprinkler head and pipe selection, sprinkler head location and number, and system demand. You can see some of this work here. And the core team continued developing the duplicate city center materials and costs. This week, we added all the cost analysis overview imagery and text and the first details image. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we completed, for now, working on chicken coops and began working on goats. We began by reviewing and editing our current goat page and then began researching additional information. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete. Summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Emilio Najera, digital marketer, continued with his sixth week as part of the marketing team. This week, he created a pre-marketing analysis of past efforts and researched keywords for several of our top-level branding pages, including Highest Good, Fulfilled Living, Community, and Highest Good Society. You can see some of this work here. In addition to this, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Shubra Mittal, Ashwarya Singh, Farhan Zaki, Jordan Miller, and Tyler Calvert continued developing the software. This week, the team completed all the UI test cases for login page using Selenium, integrated test cases with Sauce Labs, configured nightly jobs on CircleCI to run automated tests, got the new header to display a profile picture and added the current username on a toggle button, started creating the time log page in React, worked on getting data from the API on the time log page, and rebuilt the header for the time log page using React Strap. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of no waste living and so much more. If you'd like to see details, specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we've talked about in this video and so much more, uh, visit our website. 
are our written blog, which has details to everything covered in this video and so much more. Also, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. The easiest way, of course, is join us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks so that you can access our information and monitor uh, our updates that way if you like. Or if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. You'll get one email a week from us sharing this video uh, and uh, making it easy that way. Also, of course, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you if you're somebody that's donated to our project. We're 100% unpaid staff, including myself. Uh, and so 100% of all donations goes into forwarding our missions. It does not go into any form of paycheck for me or anybody else on the team. We're all volunteers. So if you donated to our project, thank you for that. If you watched the end, thank you for that. If you're just following our progress and giving us a thumbs up or a like on this video or sharing our information, thank you for that. Whatever way you're supporting, we do appreciate it and every little bit helps. So with that said, until next week, we will. Of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.